Hello everybody. Today I'm here with the update 5.2 patch notes and today we are getting Sweetums from the Muppets. So let's take a closer look at them. I also want to say I am on vacation so if you hear a lot of background noise uh, there's nothing I can do about it but I'm going to try to get this video out quick. Um, so just looking at Sweetums I think he looks really weird. I would highly suggest looking up a picture of Sweetums so you can look at them side by side. I don't know, there's just something about the drawing of him that just feels off. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of how they translated him into the game. But either way, I think he's kind of a fun character to have. Uh, uh, at the same time though, we have plenty of Muppets characters, so I don't actually know how much I care for getting Sweetums, but if we're going to get Sweetums, I think, I don't know, he's just going to make for an interesting character. Compared to all the other Muppets, he works a little bit differently since there's a person actually inside of his costume, so I'm interested to see just how they do the animations for him. Obviously it's not going to be like, um, like jaw-dropping, but I hope they at least do something fun for the animation since he is treated a little bit differently, almost being like a, I don't know, live action in a, in a way. Um, so I hope they do something cool with his animations, but he's going to be a tank hero and in the prize ball on July 13th. Going through skills first up is direct to video. In its passive form, instead of dealing damage to his basic attacks, distract the nearest enemy and grant him a shield worth percentage of his max HP for a duration. When it's active, Sweetum yells through his megaphone at the enemy team, dealing fantastic damage to any enemies in front of him and stunning them for a duration. After stunning his enemies, Sweetum also gains an attack speed increase and a skill power increase for a duration. Uh, alright. Off to Hollywood, Sweetum does a dance to encourage his team. He and all allies gain armor reality, while enemies have their basic damage and skill power reduced by percentage of the duration. I can see him kicking his feet there. I guess that'll be a fun one. Sweetum sour. Sweetum roars, dealing normal damage to all enemies while blinding and silencing them for a duration. Uh, seeing him roar might be a little scary. Monster power, direct to video now, it decreases the affected enemy's armor and reality to buy a percentage for a duration and apply stacks of weakness. The armor and reality decrease has a chance to fail against enemies above certain levels. Finally, Hulking Heap, direct to video now deals a bonus normal damage. Sweetum Sour now causes Sweetums to become Berserk for duration and increases all team members' basic damage and skill power by a percentage with each use. The basic damage and skill power increases last for the rest of the wave, plus fantastic damage to direct video. His friendships are going to be with Kermit and Mr. Big and Kozlov. Kermit's an obvious one, but Mr. Big and Kozlov is a fun one. Um, I don't think Kozlov really talks, and Sweetums uh, isn't that fluid in English either, so that'll maybe be fun. I don't know. I'm interested to see just what they're going to do with that. Uh, they have another patch, Season 9. The Muppets obviously being included, but they also have Hercules, the Princess and the Frog, and the Little Mermaid. If you have any characters in that in those teams, I'm sure you're excited. I'm still waiting for the Incredibles. We're gonna skip past all of the hero updates and other bug fixes, but you can go ahead and check that out in the patch notes if you're interested as usual. But we're gonna look at the new hero locations and content adjustments. Negaduck is now an in-app purchase exclusive. Tiana's the next contest hero, Chef Skinner in the VIP crate. Flash in the Guild Crate, Jake Long in the Coliseum Crate, Phoebus in the Diamond Crate, Kida in the Challenger Hero Spot, that's interesting, and Little John is in the Elite Campaign. I forget what Kida was before, but she's now the new Challenger Hero, replacing whoever was in there, I honestly have no clue. Uh, finally, it's a full app and server update that was currently planned for Tuesday, July 11th, 2023. We actually knew about Sweetums because of a data mine, so... I don't think we have any other data mine characters. Negadoc was data mined and Sweetums was. And there might have been another one that I just can't think of, but Sweetums was the one we were kind of waiting for. So if we're going to get more characters after this, uh, we it might be a good chance that we're going to see data mines this time. We didn't last time for the last one, as far as I saw at least. I didn't look that much into it, but I don't think we did. And I guess after this video I might look into that. And I can let you guys know in the comments if you're curious if I found anything or not, but anyways, uh, like I said, I want to keep this short because I'm on vacation, there's a lot of background noise and stuff, but I'd like to hear what you think about Sweetums. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you on Tuesday when Sweetums is released. So thank you for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.